Today's video is brought to you by Vinyl Moon. Vinyl Moon is the all-in-one deluxe vinyl discovery. Every month they press awesome music on beautiful colored records and send them right to your door. Join today with discount code VINALIZE to get 10% off. All right, now have you guys heard of hologram records? They sound cool, but what exactly are they and how do they compare to normal records? Today, we're gonna find out. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're talking about hologram records and why I think they're pretty cool. But real quick before we get to that, today's song of the day is Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. And if you have a suggestion for a future song of the day, post it in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Also, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn more about record players, music, and pretty much everything vinyl related, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. All right, now what are hologram records? Well, basically these are special records that have unique scratches in their dead wax so that when you spin them, they create this hologram effect, which looks really cool. But in order for this to work properly, you gotta have a small light placed directly above the record as it's spinning. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to just use the flashlight app on your cell phone. That actually works out pretty well. Now, because this technology is still pretty new, there haven't been a ton of these types of records, but here are some of the coolest ones so far. Jack White Lazaretto featuring a floating angel hologram. A Cosmic Gift, a journey to the purple planet featuring a changing hologram of a sphere, pyramid, and cube as well as their other album titled Hologram, featuring a hologram of a star on side A, and the letters ACG, a cosmic gift, on side B. Then we've also got Richard Houghton, All Guitars 2, featuring a really unique dodecahedron hologram, which looks absolutely stunning. Then there's Digitalia Records, O Utopia, featuring a UFO on side A, and a pyramid with the all-seeing eye on side B. Then we've got King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard Polygon Wanna Land, featuring a floating lizard head. And finally, the most famous of all, the Star Wars Force Awakens soundtrack, featuring a hologram of the Millennium Falcon on the first record and a TIE Fighter on the second record. Look at that thing, it is so awesome. I could just stare at that for hours. Now, if you hold these records in front of you normally, you won't really notice anything different except for what appear to be several large scratches in the middle near the label. So basically, the effect is hidden unless you're in the right lighting conditions like we said earlier. So basically, if you didn't know any better, you might just think this is a scratched up record in the bargain bin, but you'd be very wrong. Those scratches are there for a reason. There's order and all that chaos. Now, where did this whole thing start? Well, the main driving force behind this hologram record movement is a guy named Tristan Duke. At MIT, he developed a method called abrasion holograms that allows a 3D object to be seen under the right lighting conditions floating above a spinning record. His website, Infinity Light Science, features all the designs he's crafted over the last few years. First, he started with Jack White's Lazaretto in 2014, then he did Rush in 2015, and then finally, Star Wars in 2016. So he's stayed pretty busy. Also on the site, there's a contact section where even you could possibly get a hologram record for, you know, your band's new album. However, I'm also guessing that he probably charges some good money for his services, so... You know, just keep that in mind. Now, another important thing to know is that these holograms do not affect the sound quality in any way, shape, or form. So if you're worried about that, don't be. The music is gonna be the exact same quality that you would find on a normal, non-hologram record. However, because the engineers do have to make room for the hologram image, that side of the record might have fewer songs, which is really no big deal if you think about it. I mean, it's a small price to pay for a really cool effect. Now, being that these holograms don't affect the sound at all, they're really just there for decoration. 
something that kind of looks nice but also complements the music on the record. So overall, I do think they're pretty cool and we're bound to see a lot more of these in the future. Now, what do you think about hologram records? And do you personally have any in your collection? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you love music in general, but still haven't subscribed yet, be sure to click this red button so you can join us for all the new videos. And most important of all friends, have an awesome day and keep spinning that vinyl. How would they make a hologram cassette?